And by the way, always try to remember to use some scratch paper and a pencil, okay? Because you do want to be able to erase easily. I like these mechanical pencils because they're very clean and sharp, very convenient. Okay, let's do another one. Question 529 on page 511. An aircraft departs an airport in the Pacific Standard Time Zone, 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. So you write down 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. Okay, let's continue. This is a four-hour flight to an airport located somewhere else in the world. I don't care where. We just know he's going to be on that plane for four hours. And if he doesn't reset his watch and he leaves it on Pacific Standard Time, um, it should read what? Well, let's add the four hours. There's 0, 4. Add to this number here. It gives us 1430 what? Pacific Standard Time. Now, let's see where he actually landed. He, is, he flew a fuller hour flight to an airport located in the Central Standard Time Zone. The Central Standard Time Zone. So this time, he flew from west to east. The landing should be at uh, at what Zulu time? So ultimately, we're going to need to know what the Zulu time is. But first, we have to convert to the local time uh, at the airport he landed at, which was in Central Standard Time. So we know in Pacific Standard Time, he landed at 1430. We're going to simply convert from Pacific Standard to Central Standard. And how do we do that? In comes our trusty little chart, which you will have memorized and you will write just before you start your, your test, or just after the test begins. And we look at the um, relationship between Pacific Standard Time and Central Standard Time. Well, we know Mountain Standard Time is one hour away, so Central Standard Time is two hours away. And since we're going from uh, west to east, we add time. So it's one, two hours. So you're adding two hours to convert from Pacific Standard Time to Central Standard Time. So let's add the two hours. 0, 2, 0, 0 gives you 1, 6, 3, 0 Central Standard Time. So we know he landed Central Standard Time at 1, 6, 3, 0 Central Standard Time. But that's not what the question asks for. The answer they're looking for is in Zulu time. How do you convert 1, 6, 3, 0 Central Standard Time to Zulu? Very easy. You go back to the chart. Make sure you're on standard time, and you look at where the central standard time zone is, and it says the number 6. You always add when you're converting to Zulu. It's very easy. So you just add 6 hours. So we add 6 hours, and that's 0, 3, 12, 2. And the answer is 2230 Zulu. Let's see if there's a choice here of 2230 Zulu. And there it is. Answer C, 2230 Zulu. And the book agrees with us. Answer C is indeed the answer. So that is correct. Okay, there's one more left, so we'll do that. Okay. Final question, 5-30 on page 511. An aircraft departs an airport in the Mountain Standard Time Zone at 1515 Mountain Standard Time. So what do we do? You know it. You write down 1515 Mountain Standard Time. The next thing we want to know is how long they were in flight. Well, it says for a 2 hour and 30 minute flight to an airport located somewhere else in the world. We don't care right now. We just know they were on board. The flight was uh, en route for 2 hours and 30 minutes. So, you've got to add on 2 hours and 30 minutes to this number here. So, you express 2 hours and 30 minutes by writing it that way. And then you can simply add. So, 3, 4, 5 and 2 are 7. So, 1745. He lands at 1745 Mountain Standard Time. Yes? Now we can look to the rest of the question. They say he landed in an airport located in Pacific Standard Time. So, he obviously went west. So we write down Pacific Standard Time. We need to convert to the local time. You don't go to Zulu until you know the, the local time. So how do we convert from 1745 Mountain Standard Time to Pacific Standard Time? Well, you should know that now, by now that Mountain Standard Time is one hour to the west of Pacific Standard Time. But if you don't remember it, 
you look at your trusty chart. You see Mountain Standard Time is here. Forget about these numbers to the right. Mountain Standard Time is here. Pacific Standard Time is one hour away. So it's one hour to the west. What do you, what do, you do with time conversions when you're going from east to west? You minus. So it's minus one hour. So we put in minus one hour. So what we have here is one, six, four, five Pacific Standard Time. And it says here, what is the estimated time of arrival at the destination airport? And you can see the choices here are only in Pacific Standard Time. So let's see if we have a match. 1645, right off the bat we have a match. 1645, let's check it. Yep, the book agrees with us. Answer A, 1645 is the answer. Now let's say we wanted to convert that to Zulu time even though they didn't ask us to. It's very easy. You go to your chart. Pacific Standard Time, to convert to Zulu, you add 8. If it was Daylight Savings Time, you would add 7. But it's not. It's Standard Time, so you add 8. So to convert this, you do you just write 0, 8, 0, 0, and then you just add it up. Uh, 5, oops, 5, 4. That's why you really want to use a good eraser, because it can get very messy. Try not to be lazy and do what I did before I erased it. Um, uh, 8 and 6 are 14, and 1 and 1 are 2. So if they had asked for it, 2445 would have been the Zulu time representation of local Pacific Standard Time. And that's all there is to Zulu. And they did ask this question on my test. It stands to reason they may well ask it on yours. Okay, that's it for Zulu time. Good luck.